Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to restrain your uh, doll's limbs. Um, if there's any background noise, I'm so sorry. My cat's in my room and it's been really wet out. So, okay. So today I'm going to be straightening Jane Brewer's limbs. They've been quite loose recently. Like, I went to go down to a creek I take pictures at and I had a hard time getting her to stand up. So today, I'm going to show you how to restring them, um, basically tighten up the limbs. I already did this with Dakota uh, when I got her. It, her limbs were almost as bad, maybe worse, and it worked very well. And a couple of days later, it loosened out again, but it wasn't, you know, loose loose. It was, you know, fine. So, I'm, so you're going to need four hair ties. It doesn't really matter what color. They could be old ones, you know. Or you can get new ones. I got, I had a bunch of these. So I'm going to use four black ones. Or, you know, depending on how bad the limbs are. Something to keep the stuffing in so you don't lose it. I got this nice box I keep all of my doll shoes in. So I'm going to use that. And of course you're going to need your doll. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get the stuffing out. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so I just finished getting out all the stuffing, and um, it filled up the whole box. So there, when you get out the stuffing, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot more than you expected. So here, Jamber has these little plastic caps and the string. Now, when I restringed Dakota, uh, she had these little metal things. Since she's a Pleasant Company doll, a metal wasn't basically illegal to use in kids' toys. So, she has these plastic things, and you're going to need your hair tie. And you try to stretch it as much as you can, and keep going, keep tying around under the knot until you can no longer tie around it. This could take um, a long time. Basically, when it gets so hard, it's hard to do it. Now, this is going to be my last one. And I probably shouldn't have done the arms because I probably don't have to, but probably a good thing I did. Okay, now here it is. Now, here's the arm I haven't done yet. And, like, see how it just, like, moves around seamlessly? And shake it, moves. Now here's uh, the tightened one. It's a lot stiffer and it doesn't, when I shake it around, it doesn't move. So I'm going to do that three more times to her legs and to her next arm. Then I'm going to put the stuffing back in and show you guys um, what, uh, how to put the stuffing back in. Okay, so I finished putting in the strings and her limbs are much tighter. And now I gotta put the stuffing back in. Now, this is gonna be a little bit tricky because when I did it with Dakota, the bottom part didn't fill in as much as the top part. So you're gonna want to uh, shove it in as best you can when you first get it in so you don't have, uh, how do I put this, like an emptiness. So, and if there is leftover stuffing, um, don't worry about it too much. I've seen a lot of people, um, uh, have difficulties with the stuffing, you know, not putting, having it all go in, so don't worry about it. So, I'm going to put the stuffing back in, and we'll see you after that. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens uh, when I didn't realize it was happening until it was too late. Um, but it looks in the front, you know, like it was totally like done right. Then I flipped it over and she's got a flat butt. So I got to find a way to squish it back in there. Um, I'm running low 
on battery on my camera, so I can only film uh, very little, so I'm going to have to do that off camera. So, yeah. Okay, so I did get it all in, and she still kind of has a flat booty, but not as bad. I did notice that squeezing and rubbing down the spine, I mean, it would shoot out the fluff a little bit, but not all that bad, and it was just enough. It was okay to, like, push back in. Um... And with time, it, the stuffing will sink a little more. Especially when I put the head back on, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Um, you can have somebody help you, or, I'm sorry, I have a horrid uh, camera setup. So, obviously, just slide the head back in. This can be a little hard, depending on how much stuffing you have shoved in there, like me. Um, I did get all of it in. So as soon as you get it in, oh God, I got a, I got a book stacked on top of a cardboard box. So with my camera, so not very safe. Then just get right before you knot your first, just like that. Keep going, keep repositioning the head. Everything's falling over. My whole camera set up. Oh well. Reposition. I'm going to look at it from the front, see how it is. Got a little gap there, so I'm just going to push the head down a little more. Keep doing that. Tighten the string again. So I'm just going to tighten the knot now. Tighten and tight knot, but not so tight like if you need to do readjustments. So there's Jamber. She's got all her stuffing back in and she's got nice tight lens. I'm going to get her dressed again and I'm going to show you guys the finished product. So okay, I finished uh, putting Jamber's clothes back on and her limbs are much tighter. Like they actually don't like sink when I put them in a pose and she can stand up. Of course she can't stand up on my bed. So, But I am much more confident that she won't fall over when I'm taking videos or taking pictures. I do not own the idea of this way of tightening uh, their limbs. I've seen many other YouTubers do this, so I do not own the idea at all. I don't own American Girl, and I do not own the company that made the hair ties. Um, a quick note, well a couple, um, you can get your hair ties at Family Dollar or your local dollar store. That's where I got mine. I got them for like a buck fifty. Awesome. They're good hair ties too. They last for a long time. And uh, if, let's say, you put all the stuffing back in your doll. Sorry, I'm filming with my hand because my setup here was not all that good. <laughs> if you could tell, my the book kept slipping. So, um, if let's say you put the stuffing back in, but you realize like, oh no, there's not that much stuffing. Uh, I got. You can usually get stuffing or cotton filling of any kind at Joanne Fabrics or your Michael's Craft Store. I don't have a Michael's near me, but I'm guessing you can get it uh, cotton filling or stuffing at Michael's. And uh, it, you can always just shove that in there. Just make sure you get it in super tight because if you don't, then the doll will be uh, kind of have, like, I don't know, maybe... Like wrinkles, I guess. Uh, and you kind of want her to have a solid texture. Well, not texture, solid form. I'm very tired. <laughs> it's been a long day for me. So, thank you for watching this video. Once again, I don't own the idea of tightening, and this is not a sponsor video. Thanks for watching Daisy Dollies. Please click like and subscribe, and comment if you want to see any other videos, or if you want to see a photo video how I take my photos. So, okay. Bye!